welcome to the video my friends oh it's been a while hope you've all been well but we are back and we're going to take a look at another survival game that's just magically appeared the last few days the day before developed by fantastic and published by my toner according to the steam page yes it's on steam and you can add it to your wish list the day before is an open world mmo survival set in a deadly post-pandemic america overrun by flesh hungry infected another zombie survival game i know i know but this one looks like division mixed with daisy so we'll see survivors can kill each other for food weapons and cars and you wake up alone in a world you no longer remember setting out to find answers and the resources to survive they have released an announcement trailer for the day before and uh it's not bad but it's very scripted and uh, very reminiscent of division's announcement trailer a launch trailer gameplay trailer where it was very scripted and not actual gameplay and real comms it was actors acting it out so it's got that very much a vibe of that listen up this is woodbury survivor colony speaking if you can hear this message it means that we have opened our doors for new survivors we can give you food and shelter and ensure your safety here are the coordinates did you hear that yep i got a message too great maybe i can sell my junk there and get myself a better rifle let's find some fuel and go in the survivor colony, you can sell and buy any items as well as cooperate with other players. Fantastic has made a few games, but this one is a little bit more ambitious. I say a little bit more, a lot more ambitious than their previous games that they have released. On Steam, this is also listed as single player MMO, online PvP, online co-op. So it could be very much uh, a Daisy Division like game but hopefully not so much with the Division's Dark Zone and more of a complete open world PvP style, more like DayZ. Now, there is some more screenshots as well on the Steam page and it looks like we've got snow deformation and there's vehicles, which do look pretty sweet going up a snowy mountain here. There's not much more information. There is rumor of a quarter two 2021 release, I believe. Not sure if it's going to be early access, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was this day and age as they usually are. Uh, of course, I will be jumping on this ASAP as soon as it's out. I've added it to my wish list and followed it for all the latest updates regarding maybe I'll get sent a key. Uh, who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait for that, though, and find out. But either way, I will cover it for you fine folk out there to let you know my feelings on the game. At the moment, very, very skeptical, as always, with any new survival games, zombie games, as uh, especially the MMO style multiplayer PvP stuff, because a lot of them haven't really uh, haven't really made a mark that much to be fair and um you know fall short in a, in a lot of ways so uh yeah we'll just have to get hold of it and play it for you so i'll get a, get a few get a few people with me maybe and check it out and see what it's like roaming together looting so uh the looting actually looks like uh, more of a scum type press e on a thing and it'll search and then you'll find loot inside kind of thing i'm not sure if in this trailer there's footage of finding actual physical objects on shelves and desks and things like that Graphically, it looks impressive. It's got a very Division-esque look to it. The uh, apocalyptic town looks nice, and the audio seems decent enough. Dude, there's too many of them. I, I gotta go upstairs. Okay, I'm running toward you. It is looking promising from this trailer. Anyway, if you ignore the scripted actors, uh, <laughs> that's the only off-putting thing for me from the trailer. But, you know, just a quick look at this. I'll leave links in the description for the Steam page and the full trailer on Fantastics YouTube for you to check out in all its glory detail with all of the information in that trailer itself. Hopefully, I can start getting back into videos again, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a bit of a rough uh, time with the lockdown again and uh, after Christmas and things like that. So we'll, we'll try and get back onto uh, the, some kind of swing of things. But I have been streaming regularly on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash septicfalcon. Link in the description also for that if you want to catch me live. And with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button as it helps the channel out a lot. I really appreciate it. Or the dislike button. Subscribe if you enjoy the content I create. I love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you peeps next time.